anger. Let's start with that. So I said I was going to be starting a sort of motivational speaking course type deal, but I don't think I'm going to have any sort of direction to go with it, nor plan on how to do it as uh, efficiently and effectively. So I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to make a section or a part and make up a playlist that you guys can watch in any, uh, any, uh, I have words, I swear I do. Oh, anyway, anyway, rotation, orientation, I, I, I do have the word. Eh. <clears throat> Basically, you can click and choose which one you want to talk about, which one you want to see, which one you want to look at. And so we're going to start with this one. This is going to be called anger management. Now, I'm going to slice that word management out. You don't manage anger. <clears throat> anger is an emotion. You can't put an emotion into a management. Managing, management is for like telling people what to do in a way that they will actually do it. And managing situations, that is able to be done. An emotion, an emotion you can't manage. An emotion you can only do one of two things to. Hold it or let it go. And I know that sounds really, really, really easy and it's not. It's really, really hard to let go of anger. It's super easy to hold on to it. Once you get that anger feeling, if you like getting angry, which I know some people who do, maybe myself included, and it just makes you feel, it makes you feel tightened. And it's really easy to hold on to. It's easy to like, while you're driving on the road and somebody cuts you off, you just wanna lay in them. You beep, 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 beep. I'm gonna beep. You know, that sort of thing. <sighs> My own sensory, gotta love it. Ha! <sighs> but no, seriously. Like, I, you can get angry at pretty much anything easily and keep your anger. It's not hard to keep it. It's extraordinarily hard to let go though. And now, now, now. Some of you are probably thinking to yourselves, now, now, Zachary, Zachary, I am very good at letting go. I can do it at the drop of a hat. Well, that's awesome for you. I used to be able to do that. It wasn't so easy for me recently. But due to circumstances that have led me to my current spot, I am going to work on my anger. And I have learned a tactic from many, 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 many personal development courses where it's basically linking bad things to certain ideas and good things to other ideas. For example, about 10 years ago, when I was about 14, 13, so maybe nine, 10 years ago, I had the fortune, good fortune, and I know this will sound weird, but the good fortune of getting very badly hurt due to anger. And I'm not talking kind of hurt, I'm talking badly hurt. And this won't sound like stupid badly, but for a kid, it is. Um, I got so angry one day that I flipped a pillow up into the sky. Don't ask me why. Maybe I actually threw a pillow. I, you know, I actually threw a pillow at somebody, actually. But it hit the light fixture that was hanging off the roof. I had one of those, like, pure glass ones, and it came down on my head. It hurt. The fixture coming down on my head, it hurt even more when your mother slowly takes a comb, brushing the pieces out and scraping your skull, and then going at it with tweezers and a magnifying glass for an hour and a half. <laughs> and you're probably thinking to yourself, that kind of sucks. You know what sucks even more? Getting sick the very next day. And I'm talking kind of sick. I was throwing up. I was having a really, really bad time of it. I was, it was bad. Like, really bad. I look really pasty right now. That kind of bad. Holy snap, that's bright. Hold on a moment. Is that better? Kind of actually sweet. A little bit. Like, oh, I linked so much pain to getting angry, I never did it again. It wasn't just anger. I saw, I was going to call this anger management, but it's more than just that. There is parts to your brain that are negativity. Negative emotions. These are not the things that will propel you forward. When people say you gotta get disturbed, you know, be upset, 
Being upset and being angry are two different things. Being upset with a situation is, I'm really upset with this. And that feeling of discomfort, like if you planned a trip somewhere and then you figured out that you were not able to go on that trip, you could be very dissatisfied and very upset. You would feel more sad than angry. Now, with this being said, anger does not have a space or place. Anger is something else. Anger is when you take the emotion too far. When you decide to get tight and rigid. <clears throat> this can come up from a multiple to multitudes a multiple amount of reasons. The biggest reason is your picture does not match reality. You see this, this is what's happening. And instead of letting it go and accepting the picture that is, you do this. You take the one picture, you take the other picture, and you sort of just rub them together. And that friction creates the anger because you start pointing out everything that's not right in your picture and it's not right in reality. And you just, you can snowball with this. You get more and more and more angry. And if you stay angry, <laughs> You tend to get angry easier as your life goes on. Like, I mean really easy. Back when I said I hit that light, I was hard-pressed to get angry. So hard-pressed that my friends, when I would swear, they would stop what they were doing because I was angry. And they knew I was angry. And they knew I never got angry. Like, they have seen me go years without getting angry. And then I would just turn on them and they would zip it. That is not anger. That is, back then that wasn't anger. That was me what's it, asserting a point of view or showing such great discomfort in my situation that the people around me actually resonated. It actually hit them right. Who would you listen to more? The person who's always yelling and shouting or the person who's very quiet, nice, and considerate who all of a sudden gets dark-faced and says, do it. Probably that person because the person who's always angry, you usually write it off as just him being angry all the time. Whereas the person who's kind of like very nice, kind, gentle, and you know, sort of really sweet. Like, you know, like it's as if Mother Teresa all of a sudden rounded on a kid and said, pick up that cat. He'd stop and pick up the can. Heck, I'm pretty sure she could make a lot of the world leaders do something right now. If she, you know, God rest her soul. But still, she could make things happen. And people who are nice can make things happen because they are not written off to be just angry all the time. They are written off to be very nice, sweet, kind, caring, and understanding. That's why when people like those get angry, we listen. Whereas people who are always angry get angry, well, it's sort of just a way of course. So, to let go of the anger, because you can't hold on to it, if you hold on to it, it's just like sandpaper, you rub it. But instead of the sandpaper getting smoother, it just gets rougher and rougher and rougher. You have to let it go. Now, letting it go is very hard. If you don't know what to do, and I am here to tell you what to do. Now, this is not tried and true. Everybody has their own reasons and abilities and ways of making things happen. This is what works for me, and it might just work for you. So here it is. The first thing you gotta do is figure out what you want. Ergo, not to be angry all the time. So we're gonna take anger. Now let's link some things to it. Let's see here. Usually, does anger ever get you anything? No. So usually anger means loss. So remember, anger equals loss. Now let's move on to this. Let's, let's continue going. Usually when we get angry, we usually cause some pain. Not just to other people, but to ourselves. So because when we get angry, we usually cry afterwards because we feel that bad. If we're really angry and we really go off the deep end, we usually cry afterwards. So anger equals loss and pain. That's two big things right there, loss and pain. Now, I don't know about you, but some people have this innate ability to cause destruction when they're angry. So it equals loss, pain, and destruction, which is also a kind of loss, but we're gonna put it into its own thing because sometimes we, it, destruction sometimes costs money. So, destruction. Let's also link 
and I know you can't really do this all the time, but uh, if you do have a piece of paper, link everything that anger actually gives you. Everything anger gives you. But again, let's show on, let's continue on with the bad things here. Anger gives you friction and frustration because the more you're angry, the harder it is to get happy. It is. It's just a proven fact. You can be angry, 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 and true, if somebody does the right thing at the right moment, they can snap you out of it in a heartbeat. Otherwise, though, you can just keep on going. And you just get feel worse and worse and worse and worse and worse until you're having the worst day ever. You want to have a coffee, a beer, and just sit and talk to nobody. <laughs> but we don't want that. We want you to feel happy and joyous. So again, linking all this grr to anger, let's see what the opposite of anger does then. So being calm, letting it go. What happens if you let anger go? Keep motivation, but let anger go. Well, all of a sudden, your brain starts thinking. Have you ever been upset at a puzzle, or you're looking for something, and you're like really upset, and then you decide to just let it go, you calm down, and then you start, your brain just starts clicking, and you start seeing these images, and you're just like, oh, and you're able to solve the puzzle so much easier, or you're able to figure out a situation, or find those keys that you were looking everywhere for, and they figured out they were in your pocket. That is clarity. When you don't have anger, you have clarity. You think, you process better. You think better, you process better. You live better without anger. There's a lot of things you can have to make your life better. Ha not having anger is the best. So, we have to eliminate anger and attain what? Clarity, not just clarity, but calm. Being calm and clear, basically it's the martial arts rule. If you're angry, you're gonna lose. If you're calm, cool, collected, you're gonna win. Because an angry person, they telegraph, telegraph? Yeah, telegraph's the right word. Telegraph their movements erratically. And a calm person can read them all. Whereas a calm person, you can't tell if they're going to hit you in the face or jump kick you in the nads. You won't be able to tell because they don't look anywhere. They don't, they don't telegraph. They're calm, cool, collected. They're able to solve issues easier. So calm mind, clarity, easy mind. Oh, I wish I had a word, a good word. Peace. Oh, huh. peace of mind. We're trying to achieve peace of mind. I figured that out. Woohoo! <laughs> We're getting somewhere. So, peace of mind. You're trying to attain peace of mind. Now, I in my past fought against my picture not matching reality. And I took a manager management course and. Basically, they wrote it up like this. Look at a situation like this. Can you do anything about it? Yes or no? <laughs> yes. Let's say yes. Okay, what can you do? Can you do it right now or do you have to do it later? If it's a do later and you can do it later and you have to do it later and you can't do it now, let it go. Calm down. Put it in your mind that you can do something about it later. That gives you motivation. That turns anger into motivation. Discomfort is good, but it can lead to either two things, motivation or anger. You want the motivation. Motivation is good, anger bad. Good, bad, good, bad, good, bad. Okay, cool, awesome, continuing on. So, with this motivation, you can then get something done. Now let's go back, first step. Can you do something about it? No, is it your fault? No, is this something of which you have any control about? No, let it go. If you cannot control the situation and the situation is coming at you, the only thing to do is do what a right river rafting person does. Bites down hard, grits real tight, and just goes with it. And if they're really good, they start laughing because they're having fun. Fun. <clears throat> I've been ice skied, ice snowboard, I've done all that. And when you hit a jump just the wrong way, you go tumbling. You can do one of two things. Get angry, panic, whatever. Me, I just ragdolled. Ragdolled it. Just rolled around. Got back up, brushed myself off. Quickly chased after the mountain because my ski was falling down the mountain. And I was just like, no! I can't get down the mountain without that! So I would unclick the other one and just run for it. Oh, it was the funniest thing ever. But that's the only thing you can do is to let it go. Not the ski, the anger. 
You just gotta let it go. Because the anger will stop you from getting what you want. It will always stop you from getting what you want. Mm, okay? Always. I don't care what anime, TV, or any book tells you. Anger is not the way. Okay? Even if you think it's your way, try it this way. Just try it. Anger feels really good. Peace of mind and just chilling is even better. Trust me. When you learn to get rid of anger, you will have peace. Situations will come at you again and again and again and again and again. And usually what makes people depressed, you'll just let it fly off your back. They'll be just like, is that so? Um, I think the best definition is this. There was a story told in the book Peaceful Warrior of a monk. One day, the monk was approached by a mother and a father and was given their baby. And they said, we can't handle it. This is your baby now. And the monk said, is that so? And he took the baby. He raised the baby. He fed it, raised it, trained it, named it, continued on. Mother came back three years later, alone, said, I want my baby back. And the monk said, is that so? And gave the child back. What is the monk's secret? I'll give you a hint. Peace of mind. It's the understanding that no matter what comes your way, no matter what you're dealing with, no matter which direction you're going, even if it seems hard, even if it seems bad, even if it seems you're trapped and stuck, just because your image is not your reality does not mean you're not where you're supposed to be. It, you are purposeful. Let's go scientific here because some people don't like religious, so we're going to go scientific. Everything has a purpose. Everything. You are part of the circle of life. You have a purpose. It's up to you to figure out if that purpose will help other people, though. You got to do it. You, not me, not some low Joe Blow down the road, not some psychologist that might tell you you're awesome or perfect, and not some motivational speaker. You are the one who has to decide it. Okay? You got that down? Write it down in big Sharpie marker. Preferably not on your computer. Please don't do that. I am not telling you to do that. Don't write it on something like in public either because you can get arrested for that. Write it in a notebook on your hand. On your arm, on your face, if you really, really want. Just, I would avoid the eyeballs in the mouth. But get that down. You have the potential to do whatever it is you want. You, the very first step is, you just gotta have peace of mind. And trust me, I know that sounds hard, but you and I can do this. I might try to make more about anger, but I think that pretty much sums it up. You just have to have a life throw stuff at you. You take the stuff that you want from it and you let the other stuff just slide. Just let it slide off your back. Uh, there's a very stupid saying out there that says, be like a duck and all the world is water. Just let it wash right off your back. Be a duck. <laughs> be an awesome duck. Be a cool duck. Duck tails. Uh, in any case, I hope you enjoyed. This is going to be the very first video, Anger Management. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope it was somewhat sort of helpful. If you guys want more clarity on this one, please let me know. Um, I'm very unsure on it, and I'm not too sure I did the best job of talking about it. But hey, that's what practice is for. Woohoo! <sighs> Remember, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. I will love to see you in my next video again. I know you are awesome. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye, everybody.